Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India I welcome all of you to this course, Fundamentals of Combustion. So what are the applications of combustion? If you look at, I can broadly divide it into four categories, right? Okay. What are those? Can anybody tell me? For example, I can say power plants, you know, power generating power. Right, for generating power. I need to have power today, without that you cannot really live a life. Okay? But there are people who are not depending on power. You are aware? There are some people in you know tribal people who are staying deep jungles, they are not depending on power. Right? Yes or no? They are more intelligent than you or you are more intelligent than them. Eh? Think about it. And once you generate power, you will have to also pollute and you will also won't get, you know, you won't go to bed early in the morning. Right? Or you will go to bed early in the morning. Are you getting my point? So that the light is there. If light were not there, electricity were not there, what good are you going to go to sleep? So your lifestyle has been changed and it is spoiling your body, mind and spirit. So automobiles, of course, we will have to move around transportations, right? And which is very important if you look at, I have shown a figure here, tractor. Tractor has created a havoc, so far agriculture is concerned. Yes or no? It has spoiled the soil and then farmers are committing suicide, okay? And then all those things you people may not be very much concerned, uh, but please be concerned about the other people as well. And chemical industry, because today modern world without chemical technology, it is very difficult to sustain. Okay? So therefore, and the another things, you know, like uh, uh, is the domestic applications very much. If you look at uh, here, I have shown you a LPG. Banner, we will be discussing more about it. And uh, so, if you look at this, fi this figure I have shown, can anybody tell me what is this figure? Any idea? Huh? Petrochemicals, right? And then we also spoil the sea, oil spilling, and other things, right? So, this is the inside sea, okay? This figure shows to you. So, let us look at the scope of combustion. If you look at, I am giving you, uh, you know, bird's eye view of the application of combustion. It is not that all I will be discussing, right. So, uh, if you look at industrial processes, there are several of them like, uh, for example, chemical plants, you know, like sugar industries, UP is known as, as a, what do you call? sugar bowl of India, but not no more today. And now it is a Maharashtra, so sugar is a very important. Of course, the sugar has spoiled us there. Do you agree with me? Sugar has spoiled our body and mind and getting more diseases. And uh, means sugar means what sugar, like whatever you are taking the white color, very nice crystals, you know, like man-made crystals, not you know, nature made crystals and those are not good for health, but if you go to the good, a jaggery, what they call, that is very good, okay. But we lost the technology of making jaggery, indigenous technology. So food processing industries and all of you are very much happy with the processed food, but if you take processed food, you will spoil your body and pay more money. And similarly, iron, steel, other metals, you know, any other metal except aluminium are being processed basically from the raw materials using the combustion route because it is cheaper. You will go for electricity, it will be very costly. Okay. 
and heat treatments annealing uh, of metals and then even like cement portland cement if you look at uh, you know is basically made using the rotary kilns and let me tell you also i am against the portland cement because it is spoiling the environment the best way of making house is chuna lime okay so uh, food processing and then all those things uh, are there but i must tell you that uh, we are a part of this industrial revolution which was started something 1760 and we are still continuing this industrial revolution really spoiled india to a large extent why because we lost our indigenous technologies today companies are having what companies are having the technology common people are pauper they do not have any knowledge am i right our society is other way around our society is that common people should have requisite knowledge for living a life they don't depend on others <laughs> there is a diametrically opposite philosophy of what western people think and what we think what our ancestors think not we right so therefore we need to think about how we will develop the technology particularly the combustion technology which will be useful for the people not for industry industry will use is okay but they should not loot us so and also spoil our beautiful earth or the environment what we are having so we should keep that in mind so uh, if you look at i have taken some engines here right uh, if you look at this is basically a which engine piston cylinder engine right it can be diesel engine it can be gasoline engine i can use also biodiesel i can use also various other gas like producer gas and other gas cng i can use this piston engine and this is your also a gas turbine engine in that the this is your combustors right and both are internal combustion engine right because the combustor is a part of the entire engine it's, it is inside similarly here the combustion will be taking place right combustion will be taking place in this place or not yes or no this is a piston this is a cylinder in between will be occurring of course this is a spark ignition engine si engine but in place of spark ignition engine you can put a injector diesel injectors and then you can use you can of course change the location depending on your design and also its utility so if you look at what are these these are the what you call work horse because you know of the power plant because this is a power plant uh, you can say uh, for particularly transportation sectors which is being used and uh, this can be also used for the generating electricity right both the engines can be used for generating electricity also like uh, transport uh, you know as i told the surface transport vehicles are operated by reciprocating ic engine right of course in western country the people are using gas turbine uh, for certain uh, trucks and other thing they are saying and gas turbine combustor are used widely in air and marine transportation sectors so uh, if you look at this is basically you know this uh, car and then uh, other vehicles of course the this is your locomotive right rail uh, engine that can be used your aircraft ships and other things so uh, space transportation if you look at generally chemical rocket engines are used profusely for space transportation and we are having a very good uh, program isro is uh, doing successfully lot of launching of the space vehicles uh, not only you know putting a satellite but also the deep space missions like you know mangal jayan and then chandrayaan other thing so we are having a very vibrant programs and of course in recently uh, you know the scramjet engines which have made the you know news that we are having and which considered as an advance 
air breathing engines, this is ISRO's uh, high speed air breathing propulsion system, scramjet engine, right. And of course, the ramjet uh, is also being used, that is, of course, not for transportation, but for the missile application. And uh, in this case, if you look at uh, basically the fuel will be injected here and then uh, the combustion will be taking place, then it will be expanded in a nozzle. So, there, therefore, combustion is very important, you know, like uh, to device you know um, uh, systems for transportation. The power generation, uh, most of the thermal power plants are operated by the burning of coal, right. Is it true? Actually, it is not that true today. It was, uh, you know, let us say 30 years back it was true. Today, around maybe 60 to 70 percent of the power. Uh, are generated by the burning of coal, rest are you know being done by the nuclear, by the non conventional energy, by the diesel power and other things, right. And uh, gas turbine power plants are also in India and uh, these thermal power plants, there are several technologies, if you look at this is a coal power plants, where uh, traditional uh, you know boiler will be there, right and this is your boiler there are various kinds of boiler there and uh, these are powder coal being used to burn that thing and it is a fixed bread great combustion which will be taking place in this and steam turbine being used. But there is a recent time this a fluidized bed uh, you know combustor will be taking place because the air uh, will be used fluidized air where the particulates coal particulates will be floated will be fluidized. So, that it will be suspended in the air and you can have a better combustion and also this is a circulating bed uh, fluidized bed combustors which will be circulate the particulates. So, that you know uh, particulates will be not getting into atmosphere that extent what it will be occurring in the traditional power plant. And there is a also biomass based power plant because it is coming up well and uh, there is a lot of problem associated with the coal, particularly Indian coals if you know like we are having a coal which will be containing large amount of what? Certainly no. Sulphur basically uh, you know will be there in coal and which are coals are being those coals which are being used by China, right. And whereas, uh, our coals will be containing large amount of ash, right. That is a very big challenge. For that, you know, fluidized bed technology is required and also the when you use this hybrid kind of what to call coal and then biomass together, then you can overcome that problems. So, of course, the biomass is a, uh, another way of generating power uh, using in the boiler. And uh, there is a, of course, the gas turbine power plant. You can combine this to a combined cycle, you know, coal, gas turbine, and then coal, so that together you can enhance the efficiency of the systems and also the emission. So, there is a lot of uh, technology uh, of power plant which are coming up, and then, of course, we are not the leaders, we should do, you know, uh, ourselves so that we will be ahead of them. And uh, the waste disposal is a very important aspect, right, uh, because of fact that we are producing more waste than the anything else. Because of modern life, we are producing more waste per person. If you look at it is in Kanpur, I was told something uh, per day around 150 grams per person, you know. I may be wrong, I will be happy to be wrong, that is the waste we are producing, because of pack, packing foods and then lot of other things, packaging, you know, that is the waste. Now, this waste disposal was started when, any idea? Indians were very good in disposing the waste in ancient time, for example, dead bodies, okay, dead bodies also a waste. And India was a populous country earlier also. So, therefore, if a dead body is there, I cannot put into the ground, then it will be 
creating more havoc. Why? Because there will be bacteria development, other things, you know, it will be contaminated, more disease will spread. If I burned it, all will go. So, therefore, the, you know, uh, incineration of the dead bodies is being taking place some, since time immemorial. Am I right or wrong? So, therefore, we were doing earlier, but unfortunately, we have not kept those things with time, those things technology has to change. We are having so many engineers, but we have not come up a, a combustion technology for what you call uh, burning the dead bodies, right? And it is a part of our culture, but we should do that. And combustion find applications in disposing waste material, incinerators are used to disperse both domestic and industrial waste, right? You might be knowing that uh, keeping the incinerator in a hospital is a must today by law. But unfortunately, most of the private hospital, even some of the government hospital do not have incinerator. Right? But so, uh, I have shown you a incinerator here, where you can have human body and then even plastic, you know, you can incinerate, which is a very deadly material and industrial waste, municipal waste and hospital waste and when you can use, use tyre, you know tyre is also waste, right. So, uh, therefore, it is a uh, very important aspect which need to be designed and developed such that we can, you know, dispose our waste, otherwise we cannot be a Swachh Bharat, right clean India, green India, right? How can we possible unless we find out the technology and the meet uh, or what you call clear the things what is created by this um, what you call companies and industries because they are the things which are producing this all this waste, right? We will have to clean <laughs> because we are consuming their products, yes or no, right? So, therefore, We'll, otherwise, we will have to face the problem. So, fire is the genesis of life as I told, it can also uh, you know destroy our life. So, forest fire, you might be aware there is a story in Mahabharata, right? There is a fire, you were aware? Yes. You people might not have read Mahabharata, okay? So, right? The fire also at that time there was there. It's not that today fire is there. Of course, the today very less number of forests are there in this country, and fire is less likely to occur then. But however, fire, the forest has to be protected, and so all has to we love to avoid the forest fire. Similarly, there is a dust explosion which is taking place because we are producing lot of dust. There might be explosion also. The structural fire, you know, like uh, you might be seeing high rising building and earlier days the thatched house were being used in villages, right? How they were managing the fire, fire I have seen also when I was a kid, the uh, you know thatched house or thatched house, right? The fire and oil spill fire is a big problem, right? And so also the several other fires like your lab fire like is a very important that also occurs and uh, as I told that it is very important to develop the device how to arrest the fires and to avoid the fire hazard and by using proper construction material and fire hazard can be minimized even the ma marine life is very much affected by oil spill fire we need to. See, I will tell you the modern uh, technology is really causing a havoc and uh, my always suggestion that use minimum the technology and uh, live with the nature maximum, like right? maximize and have a relationship with the mother nature is more important than the going away from her. So, at the same time we will have to use something, it is not that we should not use and there is a domestic application. If you look at the cooking stove I have shown here, right. This is basically traditional wood stove, right. Now, uh, any of you have used this 
put stuff your views oh three of your views traditional wood stove my god i am very happy oh fourth half also but i will tell you how you will ignite it <laughs> that is the question now if you have used it i want to initiate the fire how i will do it ha uh ha -huh. blowing air no you, you cannot it's is difficult kerosene kerosene suppose kerosene is not there in ancient time we we have dry woods yes uh, not dry woods also you cannot okay ha huh? ha huh? dry leaf yes that is the otherwise when i was a kid we used to because this was a job given to me by my mother right <laughs> so i love to ignite we used to use the paper at that time paper was there paper is easier to do right so it's very difficult and particularly rainy season like now it's very difficult to maintain right now uh, later on of course uh, you know this is a wood stove right what is it condensed what kind of what is the difference between both any idea this one i am talking about here hmm this is basically coal okay now why you might be thinking this is a very simple thing we are talking about application wise but it is very important because without food you cannot survive okay our shastra says anne pratishta deva that means food is important okay and whatever you people are doing whatever all people are doing for what for food but at the end of the day what kind of food you get do you know all pesticide insecticide and then chemicals which are bad for health <laughs> are you getting you purchase from market and most of the market and then you use food, processed food it will be more dangerous <laughs> right so now this is another stove i have shown you have seen this kind of stove here what kind of stove it is kerosene so how it is being burned this flame is there here any idea no idea ha huh? what you are saying i couldn't get there is a pin and then pin no it is a weak flame do you know what is a weak is a cotton strips and then put it and then kerosene weak flame right and this whatever you are saying this is a a basically kerosene stove also right here what is happening what is happening there will be a jet liquid jet right and it will be atomized and spray will be coming and then you will burn that means this is for that what i'll do i'll have to pressurize it any of you have used this thing this one right you will have to use pressure if pressure will be reduced then it won't burn properly <laughs> right so now this is your lpg stove that you are aware okay and it is not only lpg you can use png you can use cng you know what is png what is cng pipe natural gas compressed natural gas cng or you can use biogas we can use some other things you know but of course the design might be different now what will be the power range of this stoves any idea what will be power is it maybe 0.5 kilowatt whether 1 kilowatt or whether 2 kilowatt or 2.5 kilowatt or 4.5 kilowatt 5 kilowatt what will be the range of course don't think that you know what will be the range of for example let's say i you want to buy a lpg stove right and you go and say okay i want two you know two stoves will be there one is small other is big so what is the power of small what is the power of big any idea ha huh? okay let me tell you because you people may not be aware one is 2.5 kilowatt other is 5 kilowatt okay 
find out. But check it. If it is not right, please get back to me. Okay. Don't go by me because I always tell, don't follow me. Follow the truth. Follow the logic. Okay. Now you are given a chance to cook food. Okay. And you want to make it tasty. So which stove you will choose out of this? These are the options are given. Any idea? Because you want to make the food tasty, isn't it? And it will be nutritious, right? Any idea? Huh? Which one? No, no, all are same power, let us say. Assume it is all same power. I have designed that way. Huh? LPG will give you tastier food, right? Yes or no? Agree? No idea. Depending on the mode we are using the LPG. No, all are LPG. I am using same power level na, where mode comes into picture. Less. Huh? Then sometimes you use less flame. I am telling the same power means flame will be same, you know, <laughs> then only. Suppose there is a solar cooker here, okay, and I am adding, I have not put this figure because it is not a part of combustion and which will be tastier? Solar cooker 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and solar cooker. Which will be tastier? Solar food? Solar cooker. Why? We need energy. Oh, no, 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 you have not understood. Solar cooker will be tastier, that is true. It is a uniform, no, rate of heating plays an important role rate of heating, right. Any of you have given, uh, any of uh, you have gone to the, this one, what you call uh, Puri Jagannath temple, have taken the food there which is cooked and it will be very tasty. Even same rice you will come and, you know, cook it in your uh, home, it will not be that tasty. People say it is Jagannath, I told no, it is a technology. <laughs> okay. Are you getting? So, I will tell you that rate of heating in which it will be low, that will because slower heating makes the food tastier. Why? Nutrients, the com components will not get deteriorated. But unfortunately, we are cooking in LPG which is a higher rating thing and it spoils the food. <laughs> okay. Similarly, the way you take food in the pressure cooker, you spoil the food to the point of no return. You know? So, uh, okay, there is another application I will tell you. This is about uh, heating, heating of the room. Uh, actually, it is not being used nowadays because we are having electric heater and this heater were used when Britishers were there, they were using. This is a room heater. So, let me talk about lighting systems. This is, you know, the uh, whatever we use for puja, lamp. And this is a wick also we use. This is your candle light. And this is the lamp, what you use, okay. And this is your lantern, okay. So, we have discussed about some of the applications and later on we will be discussing about more of them in the next lecture. But for before that, let me talk about the course content, what I will be covering in this lecture, that is introduction to the combustion, that is definition of combustion, types of fuel and oxidizer and their properties, types of fuel and various modes of combustion and scope of combustion. And scope of combustion already I have discussed to some extent. And later on we will move to the thermodynamics of combustion in which we will be reviewing the thermodynamic laws and we will also learn how we will apply those things for handling the reactant product mixtures, estimate the adiabatic flame temperature, chemical equilibrium and equilibrium products and the chemistry of combustion uh, we will be discussing about basic reaction kinetics, elementary reactions, chain reaction, multi-step reactions, right and simplification of reaction mechanism and global kinetics 
Later on, we will move to the physics of combustion, simplified governing equation, but right, and momentum and energy equation, right, mass conservation and multi component diffusions. Actually, rather I should say I should discuss basically binary diffusion and I will be extending to multi component, I won't be discussing multi component diffusion. Concept of conjured scalars, you know, if you look at these are the portion, first portion which is preparing yourself to learn the combustion, okay, that is why it is fundamental. So, this will basically end the course material. And then uh, as I told earlier that the book, my book, The Fundamental of Combustion will be basically a textbook and you can refer these other books like uh, Engineering Thermodynamics, uh, of course you may refer, may not refer, but definitely Kuo, K. K. Kuo, Kenneth Kuo, Principle of Combustion and S. R. Turns, uh, Introduction to Combustion, Tata McGrail. There are several books by various authors on combustion, you can also refer. Okay. I will uh, stop over here, okay, fine, thank you very much.